Okay, so Pat, tell us a little bit about what you wrote this weekend. Well, I met Tom Bird about, oh, almost 11 years ago as I was going through a divorce, and I was kind of interested in writing, but I really didn't think I was a writer. At that time, I had my real estate license, and I thought, eh, maybe I'll look at writing, but just for a hobby, for some, something to do. But I kept his books, and I kept all the information, and as time went on and my spiritual path developed, I kept thinking, gee, I really have to get back in touch with Tom Bird. Mm -hmm. And when I finally was ready, um, about a year ago, I contacted him again, and he had changed his process, shortened up the process, yeah. and it's very short, sweet to the point, so that you come and you birth the book in a weekend. And I was a little bit skeptical, but on the other hand, I liked his message, and he's very spiritual, so I knew he was pretty honest. And I thought, I'm gonna go give it a shot. So I had about eight different books going on in my head, and I wasn't real sure which one to write. And I was praying and meditating, which one do you want me to write? Which one do you want me to write? And I thought I had it all figured out. It was gonna be on holistic health and cancer and depression and thyroid. And I just had the title, and I was gonna be 125 pages, and I had it all mapped out, and I'm all good to go. And about two weeks, uh, two weeks ago, as I was praying and meditating and all good to go, this little voice inside said to me, don't be so sure that that's the book that's going to come out. So then I thought, well, holy shit, what is going to come out? Because I have no clue. You know, I want to be in control and I want to know exactly which one we're going to do and how it's going to turn out. Of course, it's going to be a bestseller in two weeks and, you know, all that stuff. So I'm driving up to Sedona and I'm thinking... It's going to be about forgiveness after the divorce. And I thought, well, shit, I don't want to do that. I just don't want to do it. I just don't think I'm going to do it. So we'll just see what comes up, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Well, Thursday night, as we sat down and did the preliminary, I am bawling my eyes out. It was the, would have been, 44th wedding anniversary. And I just thought, ah, oh, shit, just get it out. So, I, But I won't publish it. So I wrote the book and it's, I finished by noon the next day, a Friday. And now that it's done, I really think I'm going to publish it. I think, I'm not sure, but I think. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So it's book number one. Well, what, what do you think is in the future for you? Oh, about eight more books. Okay. So the first one's on forgiveness. And, but I'm going to write a money book, a sales book. Uh, oh my God. I got so many going up on there. Yeah. I just don't know which one's going to be the next one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Will you utilize this technology to expedite the process and have it be, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. definitely. I'm already planning on coming back to next August to do the retreat next okay. August. By that time, I may or may not have the second book done on my own. Right. If I don't, I mean, it may not be the second book, but at least I'll be working on something because I think from this point forward, I will always be working on something. Right. And I think Tom's absolutely right. You finish up one and you start with another. You just keep going. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So it's uh, been, I would recommend him to anybody. He's really good. Oh, beautiful. Well, we can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Pat. Thanks. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.